I have just finished making a video of how to add content to a Google site page. And I've saved the video on my desktop. And now what I want to do is upload it to YouTube. So the way to do that is I have an open tab of YouTube, but if you did not, all you'd have to do is type in YouTube.com. And once you're there, you will notice that you have a little icon in the upper right hand corner. If you've changed it, you have your face or a picture or an avatar there. If not, you have a little gray person up there in the corner. You click that, select that, and you'll see YouTube Studio right here. Now, if it says YouTube, YouTube Creator, that's fine too. Um, YouTube Studio is the newest title, but if it says YouTube Creator, just go with it. Click on that, and that takes you to your dashboard. And then what you want to do is upload your video. You can do it from the dashboard by clicking on the camera. You can click on videos. It shows you all the videos that you've uploaded to YouTube. Click on the camera. Or you can even go back over here to the beginning, to the front page, and you'll still have a camera. So it doesn't matter. I just like going to my, um, I like to be in the, da in the dashboard video area, but it does not matter how you do it. So I'm going to click on videos. A tip, if you have uploaded a video and you do not like it and you want to start over again, you have to delete that video. You can't upload the same video twice. To do that, you would just hover over these three dots and you click delete. You can also download a video that you have uploaded to, vi to YouTube. That's a really good way to compress a video and send it say to National Board or somewhere like that. But today we're just going to go over here to the camera and we're going to click on upload video. And this is the important part. If they're public, if they're listed as public, then anyone may search for them and see them. If they're listed as unlisted, you have to give somebody the link in order for them to get the video. So I'm going to click on unlisted. I always make mine unlisted. Then when I hover over the white arrow, the red background will appear around that white arrow. I'll click. That's where I go to choose my file. Now, I always save my videos to my desktop and later move them to my Google Drive. And this is the one I just made, web page content, 6 minutes and 19 seconds. And you'll notice that it's 14 mega, megabytes. And I'm going to upload it. You have to wait for it to upload before you can leave this page. This is where I can change the name of this. How to add content to Google Sites. This video shows how to add different content to a Google site. I can, if I was making it public, I could add tags there, but I'm not. I'm going to, this is almost finished processing, 95%, but I can go ahead and click done. And it even gives me the URL, the link. So once this one has finished processing, this will be the link. Now, if you click on this link before it's finished processing, you'll get a little sad face. And then when I return to my studio dashboard and click on videos, see how this one is not finished yet, but it now has. Um, if I wanted to click here, I can edit it. I can change the title. I can do all kinds of things to it. I can add it to a playlist. This over here, the, the three dot option, allows me to edit the title also. I can get a shareable link here. I can also download it. This is where you go to download a video, and this is how you delete. So if you've created 
different clips and you've uploaded the video to YouTube to compress them, you can download them and put them in another um, program and make a, take those clips and string them all together and make a video. That's how you upload to YouTube.